All right, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are going to be replacing this box. This box right here happens to be the box that I leave in the truck when I go fishing, right? And so this one has like jig heads and it's got a few plastics and it's got like some weights and some connects. And on the other side, it's got my swim baits, like top water and buzz baits. So it's got my flap slaps and all that. So we're gonna be taking all of this stuff out of my truck box and put it into my new upgraded truck box. And so this is one of my birthday gifts that I got from my wife. And it happens to be this Plano 3700 box. And it's got these five pull-out little tackles. See those? And then it's got like a little stash spot right here. Don't know what we're going to put in there yet. Maybe some tools or some line or something. Maybe some GoPro batteries. But it's got like this cool little stash box on the side. And it's got a place for my spinners. I think too. This is my top water, but I'm going to put these buzz baits in the place for the spinners. And then on top of that, it's got a place for all of my mega bass lures for the top. So, put this in here. So, I've been trying to decide kind of off camera what we're going to do and how we're going to set this up. And I think I got an idea on how. So, this top drawer right here, top drawer with these little runners right there, top drawer is going to be for top water. So I'll label it top water and put all my little top water baits and whopper ploppers and all that in the top, okay? And then the second one will be for my jig heads. And I got a boatload of those, but jig heads will go in here. So all of my little deals like this, reorganize in here. I got to take some scissors, cut all these little pieces out and line all that out. And then I think here, crankbaits in here and and the last one miscellaneous hooks weights and other stuff that I don't know where else I can put it put it in there so instead of just bank fishing today we're gonna be organizing our tackle and I got a lot of it to organize let me show you so, we're gonna be trying to make sense of all this stuff right here. There's another buzz bait. Here are my spinners. My spinners are going to go in that top part. I think for right now, we'll talk about that in a sec. Here's another buzz bait. Look at this. I got some other spinners. Got this baby bull shad. We're going we're gonna to put that in there. I hadn't got the chance to throw this. There's a 3 8 jack hammer. And it's in this red. They call this uh, Heights Hot Crawl. The Hot Crawl. I haven't thrown this yet, but I'm going to. So we're going to make sense of all this stuff. And then I got some other baits and stuff in here to tackle. So today's video will be organizing all of this stuff and finding a good, nice little place for it. It's like I'm going to find a good place for this camera. Hold on. Find a good place for all my stuff, labeling the boxes. And this box will be my new truck box. So gift from my wife thank you honey happy birthday to me and it's gonna replace this box just off subject let me show y'all what else I got hold on not only did I get it this tackle box that I've been kind of circling I also got a Shimano DC reel but this is a 151 and so I've already caught my new personal best on this guy. Caught it this morning. Today is my birthday. And so this is the other part of my gift along with a lot of other stuff that I may show, share with y'all later. But first things first, I'm going to go ahead and set out all my top water stuff and then we're going to cut out those runners and put it in the box. So, okay. So, I need to make sure I keep this, keep up with that. Anyway, this is the stuff that we're trying to make sense of. I got some plastics. 
I'm gonna try this out. I gotta try this quick. I really wanna try these fast. But I got some plastics, I got some buzz baits. I got the stuff that I always catch fish on. The top water. Prop frog in the black. This is juice. If you hadn't thrown this, try this one. Got my spiders and stuff. So we are going to be organizing all this crap into just a handful of boxes and then we're going to put it in my new box that my wife got me excuse this trash but uh all right same video but slight change of plans it's actually really really nice outside and the sun is shining and the temperature is not too hot or too cold so i figured why not do this outside so i grabbed all my stuff i grabbed all my stuff so right now i'm sorting out the top water stuff and i got my stuff in the crate here and so what i will do is i'm gonna sit on the bed of my truck right here i'm gonna organize everything up and then uh i guess we will start we're gonna start with top water so and then we got our buddy out here too he's all comfortable in the sun so Leroy's out here with us. So, all right, let me catch y'all up. So, looks like a bunch of clutter, but it's not. I got a bag for stuff I'm gonna wait to open. This all my plastics. This stuff I'm unsure about, unopened, hadn't brought up here yet. This is the stuff I've been using. This right here will be my top water guy box right here. So, the next one will be jig heads. Crank baits, swim baits, and then like little miscellaneous, maybe some weights or maybe swim baits if they don't all fit. And then I can throw the weights in something else. Because I got a little box for the weights that could go in here. Weights and hooks and stuff. But for the stuff that I'm really, really proud of, such as my Mega Bass Popper. It's Mega Bass Popper. Guys like this will go up here. So my Mega Bass Popper will be in the top compartment right here so what we'll do kind of keep on going on here keep on organizing and once I get a little bit more once I get a little bit more done I'll check back in but this is where I am so far so I'm gonna keep working here keep on working Alrighty, I think I'm satisfied with this. Got the Whopper Plopper 110s. I got two of those. This is the color I think is the most lucky for me. This is the 90 Whopper Plopper 90s. I got it in this white, the bone. And then I got this uh, Plopper Toad. I'm going to try this soon, the Battle Beater. We're going to try this. I'm going to do a video on pretty much, probably, more than likely just this. So that, got my Prop Frogs. I got two of them. Can't have too many of these. These are absolute juice those absolutely juice so those and then i got it in black too and so then i got my smaller these are like the 60s or the 75s for the whopper ploppers i'm gonna throw those off a spinning reel and then here are my frogs and then i got my little spiders lunker hunt spiders and rats and props and dragonflies so um i i am happy with the top water box so i'm gonna go ahead and get this one closed up look at this look at this get it closed up look how pretty that looks look how organized and pretty this is boom and so my top water box will go right here boom look at that now we're gonna do some jig heads all right this is gonna be our jig box but our jig box looking a little light This is the jig box, with the exception of some of these rooster tails. Got the white, got this highlighter chartreuse in green, black and blues with the little swim tail uh, blade thing. These bladed jigs right here, uh, black and blues, greens. So, my, this is my jig box, and this box will be. Oh, go ahead, block. This box will go right here. So that box is in the history books. 
now we're gonna move on to some of these swim baits so that's gonna be this box all right we about almost done so I got my boxes in here this is just gonna be that last little miscellaneous box I told you and these are where I have all my spinners right now I got all my spinners in this and there's a place for them and so I figured buzz baits in the back easy to get to easy accessible big buzz bait this is the black one this one's a monster if you hadn't tried this buzz bait try that one that one really gets a big fish and then spinner baits this is that 10,000 fish spinner bait so and spinner baits so i'm gonna take the ones that i want to take out of here put them in there and then we'll about be done so i can get this video wrapped up for you guys i think i'm at a good stopping point i'm probably still gonna change this thing maybe a hundred times but this is what's left of my original box this is and so it had two sides you know they both opened this side this side and so may post this on facebook marketplace or something i don't know and sell it but that was the box i used to leave in the truck and i have now since been upgraded to this box so i'll tell y'all what's in this one for a second but first this is my little lightweight box i carry in the backpack so i got my shad swimmers i got my chartreuse weights crankbaits jerk baits these guys are absolute juice little swim lizards look at that look at that so a little lizards throw those weightless oil with a quarter ounce weight uh jig heads stuff that i just threw catch fish on just toss back in here gt 360s gt 360 heads right here see that gt 360 heads and then my little bag of plastics that I throw. So all of this, close this. Uh -oh. Oh, I know what it is. It's because that doesn't go there. So all of this will go in my backpack with my bag of plastics. Boom. So that's that. It took me a little bit maybe a couple of hours but i think we're at a point where i feel like i can show you guys so the moment we've all been waiting for i'll start with the boring stuff so as far as stuff that's going to get left in the truck or at home it's going to be my bag of plastic so i don't need all this this thing is heavy and i definitely don't need to take all this to the lake so this will get left in the truck along with the main event right here this is going to get left in the truck so i'll start with right here I got like this little secret stash cubby I really like. And so in that I'll just have some little replacement hooks. These are for when I catch those treble hooks on stomach. and I gotta bend them out and I wanna replace it. So I got those. I got some extra line just in case and just a little extra storage box just in case. I'm probably not gonna just keep this the way this is, but for right now that's what's in that. And then you got this little hatch here. Let's see if make sure this is closed down so I don't want to dump everything out. Boom. So I got buzz baits right here. Buzz baits. See, buzz baits here. And then I got, you know, spinners, small little spinners right here. The larger spinners, my nice one, the 10,000 fish one, nice spinners. And then I like this little junk area, just some unopened plastics and stuff. I can probably take this stuff out, which I probably will, and put it in my plastics bag. So this stuff may come out. Scissors and then some uh fluorocarbon line just in case i start getting in my head and thinking that the fish can see the the braid i'll switch to fluorocarbon sometime um and then we'll it will save the top for last so this is the top water stuff top water stuff two of this box boom whopper ploppers prop frogs frogs these mice which absolutely their juice they absolutely hit and then these spiders too hadn't caught anything on one of these spiders yet but I'm gonna do a video probably on just this so that and then the beetle talked about the beetle so that's that one the next one jig heads see right here so jigs bladed jigs chatter baits chatter baits thunder crickets uh, Thunder crickets, bladed jigs, big ones, small ones, black, blues, greens, pretty much whatever you want for a jig head I got. Um, 
I'm gonna say my absolute favorite one. It's probably this one. No, it's weird, but I catch hella fish on this. Hella fish. And I don't know if I really catch a lot of fish on it like that because I believe in it or I say it's my favorite. And then second place is this one. It's the chatterbait. Throw a decent little swim tail on the back of that and catch hella fish. So, boom. Right here. Done. Jigs. Swim baits. Right here. These are the ones that don't go up here. So, if I've already caught a few fish or I'm not... You know, I'm not quite getting any bites. I can change up the color. We got my reds. Got this chartreuse guy right here. Here's those some six cents ones. Dude, jabber jaws. These jabber jaws right here, they are absolute killer. You haven't tried a jabber jaw. Those are absolute killer. So those by six cents. This is a different color jabber jaw. See? That blue. Fish go crazy over this one. And you can never go wrong with some jerk baits. So jerk baits got them in different sizes, crank baits, all kind of stuff. So these are going to be my my uh, crank baits and things like that. And then the last is just going to be like miscellaneous. I can still add to. I got room in here, but just some you know just little weird little hooks and stuff like these guys. I throw those. Some Ned rigs. This thing right here came off of one of those jigs, but it's like a little rattler. Like rattler. You can put it on the back of a hook. Tungsten weights. These right here, little bladed little deals, flicker deals, wacky, wacky rings, hooks, 360 GT heads, but these are the swimming ones. So, that's that. So, with all this stuff back in here. So, that's our setup. Um, it will probably change, but I think for right now, I can say with this. I can say with this huge smile on my face that I am 100% happy with how this box turned out. And I'm going to put the top water on top just because top for top water. And this is how it all looks. And now the main event. The stuff that made the cut for the top. These are all my favorite ones. This guy right here. Absolute killer at nighttime. Six cents. Little crankbait. Uh, this guy, absolute killer. If you hadn't tried these, these are killer. Uh, those Mike Buka, whatnot, baby bull shads in different colors. Flap slaps. Oh no, this is my popper. It's my Mega Bass popper. So that guy, absolute killer. Uh, these right here, absolute killer by Mega Bass absolute killer uh and then hold on these are my flap slaps A these are my favorite lures absolute favorite crankbait you can work them fast you can work them slow don't really matter catches fish either way boom that's my box <sighs> it's a lot of work but thanks for watching and i got a box for sale so I may give this away. Who knows? You know what? I'm going to bless somebody with this. May not sell it. I may bless somebody with it. We'll see. But either way, thank you for watching. Please comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Uh, I really appreciate the support. I do. Uh, if you like this content and like content like this, comment, you know. And if you don't mind, send me some pictures of what you guys, you know, some of your setups, your tackle boxes, what you have in them. Any suggestions on what I can add, what I can take out. Y'all let me know. But this is my new going to stay in the truck box. Um, and I am fairly pleased if I must say so myself. So I think it's about dinner time. So I'm going to go get me something to eat. And thank you. Thank you for watching.